Hello and welcome back on my YouTube channel. My name is Vlad and in today's episode we're gonna be talking about new core range from Lochley Destillery, Lochley Whiskey, our barley. New kids on the block, new whiskey on the market. Is it any good? Is it worth the money? Let's find out. So we have another new distillery in Scotland, Lochley Distillery. They started production in August 2018, so almost four years ago. And uh, there was few releases on the market until now. There was the inaugural release and then the sowing release, the crop one. And this one is actually the third release, but this is first release from the Deslary Core Range, which is very good because this one should be more available than the two previous editions. Lochley Deslary is a farm distillery, so the farm has been turned to whiskey distillery, which is very nice. And we can see they are very proud because of that, because everything is done from grain to glass in this distillery. The farm is quite big, it's 220 acres, which is a load of load of space to grow the barley. And as I said, grain to glass, so everything is done at distillery, from growing the barley to the bottling line which is very good and uh, I'm always excited when I see the new distilleries on the market, the new whiskies from the new distilleries on the market because every single one showing something new, giving us some new experience about the whiskey tasting, about the history, about uh, new ideas to whiskey production. In this case, the farm history is uh, quite nice because it's uh, linked to one of the most famous poets, Robert Burns, who used to live and work in that farm between 1777 and 1784. So we have another nice place connected to someone famous in Scotland. The slurry is located in Ayrshire, is south from Kilmarnock, nice place, beautiful views, loads of loads of fields and somewhere in the middle we've got this farm and new whiskey distillery. And this is very good example of family owned slurry. The owner, Neil Maggie, is a man who had this idea to turn the farm to a whiskey distillery. Of course, sometimes people who are trying to change the life to start making the whiskey sometimes need some help. In this case, Malcolm Rennie, the guy who used to work for Artbeck Distillery, Kinhoman Distillery, Glenmore Distillery, and probably many, many other different distilleries. He worked as a consultant to help Neil to create the way to the ceiling, select the casks, help him to grow the business. And then he's been took as a part of the team of Lochley Distillery, but unfortunately he left to another distillery which is the Rosebank Distiller in 2021, and his position has been took over by John Campbell. And we know who John Campbell is. The guy, he was a distillery manager by 16 years in Lafroic Distillery on Isle of Isla. So we've got new distillery with very short and quite nice history so far. 
And in this case, as I said, we've got the first release from the core range. So whiskey is called our barley and is full naturally presented. Non-chill filtered, natural color, 46% of ABV. In this case, we have three types of casks involved in this whiskey. We've got 60% of X bourbon barrels, 20% of X sherry oloroso butts, and 20% of STR barriques. Quite good combination, I need to say. So let's find out how this whiskey smells and tastes like. On the nose, it's very nice. A little a bit sweet. Loads of loads of maltiness, floral notes, which you can say straight away that's the farm smell during the harvest time. Very nice aroma. Behind that floral notes, we have some red fresh fruits like strawberries, like raspberries. Slightly chocolate aromas. Very nice. I need to say it's very nice. You can smell that viscous, that oiliness, which is quite interesting and quite unusual. Let's taste it. On the palate, initially, you've got loads of vanilla, a little bit caramel, quite sweet and very, very oily whiskey. And then explosion of the fruitiness, strawberries, raspberries, red grapes. When you swallow some spiciness coming up, loads of milk chocolate, Combined with that fresh red fruit sourness, beautiful, beautiful whiskey on the palate. You've got that floral notes, that uh, malty notes, just when you swallow, and this carrying the taste to the end, actually. When swallow, that maltiness, that beautifully created fruitiness, slightly sourness, coating the mouth, that oiliness is very, very nice. Towards the end, towards the finish, that sherry cask start to play a part. You've got chocolate cover raisins, that maltiness, that sweetness, keeping that, you know, carrying that, that, that finish quite, quite long. I would say it's a medium finish, but it's very intense, very nice. To be honest, I was very, very surprised because I didn't expect that three and a half year old whiskey can be that quite complex and that nice balanced. And this one definitely is. So, uh, 45 pound you can get this bottle from many many online retailers at this moment 30,000 bottles has been released that's the global market so i think that quite big part of that's gonna be on the uk market definitely it's worth to try in my opinion definitely it's worth to try price is quite similar to the other new distilleries 
Lindor Zebi, uh, quite similar price, around 44. Arna Murken, very similar price to, to this one. So I think definitely worth to spend that price to have this nice experience. Because in my opinion, this is quite good whiskey. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for your support. Subscriptions, really, really appreciate it. I'm really, really happy to have you all in this channel. This is very important to me and uh, hopefully you like it, you enjoyed it. And uh, we're just gonna be carry on with recording new videos and trying new whiskies. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care for yourself, for your families. Enjoy your life and drink your whiskies. Bye.